could use this. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes. It appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zenith, the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It will be a long search, I fear. So Landra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base. But he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. So where do you think Laundra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So... Are you ready to track down our rogue Zenith? Okay. To the burning shores, then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other Zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. I haven't caught you in the middle of fighting a giant machine or something. 
Hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. Thank you. Thanks. This is it. Laundra's headquarters shouldn't be far. Okay, that can't be good. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help, too. Let's see what you got. See those glowing crystals? Takes one hit to detonate. Yeah, okay, got it. It's like fire green, but more volatile. You know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm 
looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. The ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with, too. Come on. This way. Follow me. What were you doing out here anyway? The skip's rudder is a bit off. I was after some I just need to hunt alone. Kind of crystal. Oh, strong smell. Merchants might be interested, though. Shall we continue? Here she is. I just need to attach this component I picked up. Hold tight. Never seen a boat like that before. Me and Aguirre head back at the settlement, roped it together. It works well enough. That'll do it. Gift's good to go. Hop in. Oh no. Not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay. Casting off. Huh. Sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think.
We hit this massive storm crossing the great ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. See, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. Okay, here we go. further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus leading a barbarian into our midst. <laughs> Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Ar arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral, not a compliance officer. <laughs> By all means. Stole the focus. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus, the eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us, in direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a diviner. No one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning and there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm.
Damn them. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but... For now, I think we need to calm down and just- I am calm! You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower... Seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it? Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except my sister is pretty well known among my people. You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now even more of them are missing. So I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to Rang in his toadies. So your sister is a navigator? More like the navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there. Which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. She and the others just disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. We're agreed on that. Is there anything else you can tell me about that tower? It just appeared one day a couple of weeks ago after our scout boats went missing. And it shoots at anything in the sky or sea. Machines, boats... You. Okay, don't remind me. I tried to get near it, but it's mounted on a tall ruin with machines all around. On the plus side, its range is limited. I've been testing it with my skiff and setting up buoys to mark the radius. I can't tell if that's smart or reckless. Both, maybe. I'll admit there have been a couple of near misses. What exactly did you find on that Diviner's Focus? When the scout boat sent by the Admiral didn't return, he sent our very last one to find out what happened to them. Diviner Vi was on board. They made it as far as Starlight Rise, went inland and found a camp and a bunch of equipment. It looked like some of our people went into a ruin there. Then they spotted a machine, unlike anything we've seen. Silver and gold moved like a spider. Spooked, they ran back to their boat. They were lucky to escape. I've dealt with those things before. Well, their luck ran out fast. The morning they tried to sail back, the tower went up and 
blew them right out of the water. Vi's body washed ashore here sometime later. A friend of mine found it and let me know. The same friend that ratted me out to Rang for taking the focus. But what was I supposed to do? I would have done the same thing, trust me. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though? Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on, there's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then, I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. That's against protocol. Something that might interest you, Hunter.
good move today. So, a barbarian strolls into camp with Seika. The two of you promised to find our missing people. Given our desperate situation, I have little choice but to agree. That doesn't mean I like trusting our fate to a stranger. Who are you? Where'd you come from? My name is Aloy. As for my life story, does it matter if I can help? I suppose it depends on the cost. Compliance has trained its sights on Seika. And by letting her gallivant off with a foreigner, I may have given her just enough rope to hang herself. It seems to me she can take care of herself, but I'll do my best to keep her out of trouble. Very well. To that end, is there anything you need to know? You seem to think highly of Seika. She is an exemplary Marine. Persistent, selfless, resourceful. Being stranded is a battle of attrition. Everyone wears down eventually, but not her. Not yet. I've come to rely on her more and more. She's our best hope for finding the missing. I'm sure of that. You said your situation was desperate. How did all this happen? We sailed from across the great ocean. Ours was the tribe's most important mission in a century. It was to be my swan song. Now it will be my epitaph. A typhoon struck us midway, cleaving the fleet in two. I know not what happened to the other half. Scattered, stranded, Probably sunk. I don't know. There's always hope. <laughs> After we beached, I sent out scout boats to explore the coast. None returned. And I haven't the craft nor manpower to mount a search. First I lost half my fleet, now I've lost half the survivors, so don't speak to me of hope. And yet, Seika found a clue on that focus. You're just like her. Yet don't give up. Compliance sure seems to have a lot of sway around here. Compliance officers are the eyes and ears of the Imperial House. It is their duty to ensure that the wisdom of our ancestors doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies. And so they ferried out the disloyal and disobedient Inspections, interrogations, all in the name of security. All I see is one man causing a lot of unrest in your camp. Being liked is not part of Compliance's mandate. Assuming we ever return home, Ren will report on the crew to his superiors. That fact gives him a lot of influence. I can only pray that he uses it for the greater good. I'll do my best to help Seika bring back your people. If they're even still alive. Keep her safe, if you can.
there's no grass. Nothing caught your eye? Bring color to your days, Outlander. Many can do what I do. Some other time, perhaps. 